It's inconceivable. <laughs> when I started from India, I was so sick. My ears were totally blocked. In England, they returned my ears and then <laughs> something was there, but I think that very soon it will recover. Yes. Tiny little room. <laughs> yes, yeah, so good palace. And, uh, <laughs> and there was a little change now. You could not uh, somehow do nice. Yeah. But not so much. Uh, Temple was still being constructed then. So now, so now, Chai Kisor. I guess Chai Kisor is coming. I've heard that he's coming. He has not found out anything. Not yet, no. So many devotees. Um, he is coming, yes. And, uh, so many nice devotees from Australia. Raj Chabalava. Raj Chabalava is coming. He is at our house, yes. Raj Chabalava, Chaitanya Chandra, Paramahansa from the Gurukul. He is there. Very good. Another Paramananda. Very nice. And Devendranath. Yes, 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 Gokul and uh, Raghava Pandit, their wives are having <laughs> babies now. Oh, yes. They have baby? Not no. yet. Not yet. We have two baby Tulsis growing. <laughs> Only. <laughs> How do they knew? I'm sorry? How do they knew that two babies are there? No, a Tulsi. Tulsi baby plant. Oh, Tulsi. Only. <laughs> growing Tulsi. Sixty six. You can be here. Sixty six. No, no, not here. Second Susan. In the Bay Area. In the Bay Area. Sixty. Not a summer than that. Yeah, not the first rally. Sixty seven. Sixty time he came to San Francisco was January sixty seven. Yeah, afternoon. Yeah, New York sixty six. Here sixty seven. You are actually here. January sixty seven. You arrived in America. You met me. No, Shamarani. I was helping her with her Prabhupada Mema's book. Yes. This was a, a, a statue someone gave to me, you know, Garuda Stamba. Mm -hmm. And the Garuda was broken, so we had to remove it. And uh, Prabhu used to keep his hands there and quietly observe it. Who is he? <coughs> where he is? Only where is my prana, my beloved Krishna, in the mood of Radhika? His ground, stones, melted by the touch of his face. And also the place where he kept his hand, also it was melted and footprint and handprint came. Bhakti Vinod Thakur, about 70 years before, he took that feet print from that place because all were touching by feet and he kept se separate. Hand printed even today. We go Mandi <coughs> from this place to take Darshan of Jagannath, but not very near. If you will take some money, notes or any coin, especially money, and if you want to give touching the lotus feet of Jagannath, Bhagdeva and Subhadra, the pandas are very wicked. Anyhow, they will twist your hands and take. <laughs> they will not let you give it to Jagannath. 
because it will come in common fund and by twisting hands they will take for in their pocket <laughs> <laughs> so we never go there chaitanya mahaprabhu told us don't go and don't touch jagannath otherwise you will see that you think that he is like a stone no softness nothing so he warned us all not to sometimes panda tell that come up with me and touch the feet of jagannath for this they will take not less than 101 rupees but we never go there from very distance we do now we try to be observed as chaitanya mahaprabhu used to be <coughs> once ramanuj was there ramanuj acharya you know the name ramanuj he was the sister of vaidya di vaishna of south india we saw that all are taking battle net bedian secrets so he controlled them they cannot worship if they are taking secrets or be or tambaku or anything and battle nets so he controlled them not to come to worship jagan they all gather assembled and they left their eating anything no drinking water and they, they began to weep in front of the rama the rama says them and control us not to go there not to worship him then jagannath so they don't be worry i am man is so in the night after bhajan when he was sleeping on the chauki chauki you know cot mm-hmm. with cot he took ramanush and take away about 1000 miles from there in south india and kept there then he awake in the body oh where am i <laughs> <laughs> jogging after that he saw that he was in a temple of shankar he had promised that i never i will go to any shankar temple shiva temple if there is fire even i will not go a serpent has come in and if it bites me and if i will go to that mandir then i will be saved but even i will not go i don't worship i don't go to that temple he said that he was in the temple of shankar so he was so very and he told that i should not keep my life i should strive and why jagannath kept me in this temple of shankar in the mean time jagannath they told oh no 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 you don't think that i have kept you in shiv temple it is not shiv temple but it is kurma temple you should go and see when he went there and saw that no actually he was kurma dev mm. generally person used to know it's shankar but it was he was kurmade then he worshiped him as a kurmade and kurmade was so much praised with him now the most prominent seat of ramanuj is there
just so powerful. That's it. It's a special incarnation. Yeah. Of Lakshman. Yeah. Ram Khan, the younger brother of Ram. He caught all the arguments of Sankar and established Bhakti Yoga, Vaidhi Bhakti. He told that Krishna, Ram, Vishnu or Narayan has form, so many attributes, he has powers. It's a challenge. Eh? You look like you're tired, you have done 11 hours journey, better you can take some rest. Yes, I should go. It's now quarter past nine in the night for us. Who did voice Lakshman and Ram? Krishna Baldev is Lakshman. And, uh, Baldev and Prabhu and has come as a younger brother of Ram. Ram used to order him very hard orders. Smash. He told Ram, uh, Ram told to Lakshman. The text Sita and live it Sita forever and she do, she could not come to me. She also he Ram, he also ordered him not to fight with Bharat. Otherwise he was ready to fight with Bharat and to kill Bharat. Also he ordered Ram, Ram ordered to Lakshman that I cannot accept Sita after war of Ram, uh, Rama. No? Then Sita told that you should make a fire and I will burn him there. <coughs> so he prayed that I should not be younger brother. I will be elder brother of Krishna. And I will control them. He <laughs> should not control them. Other he is, will order me so many things. <laughs> so he came as the eldest brother of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also. I should go? Go. He has some doubt that whether I am taking wrong or right to down establish truth. He called a meeting perhaps. In that meeting all the devotees were agreed that I have told I go not find. I told that subject was that I was telling that. Anyone cannot give up of their uh, unearths until they will practice bhakti. Anyone in any stage he may be, but by the grace of devotees and guru and Vaishnava, where will they begin to practice first, then bhakti will come and gradually all will go. First we will give up all our bogus things, offenses, unearths, and after that bhakti will come pure. Hmm. It is absurd. It is against Siddha. 
Prabhupada Swami are all other side, mm. not told. They are told that bhakti should come first. Mm. But we will should try to give up all these things. But we cannot do it by our practice. Only Krishna Bhakti will come and then we will be able to give up all these things. Mm. So at last they, they agreed. Agreed. <laughs> they are bound to agree. Right. You want this? If you want little for all, you can. Or we will give it in Bazaar. Yes. In New Vrindavan to all. <laughs> <laughs> Hari <laughs> 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 <laughs>